Hi, my Kayla crew. Welcome back. So today I have a trunk club that could get me into some pretty serious trouble. Yeah, this one seems like it's going to be very promising. My last trunk was really good. And my favorite thing about my last trunk was that I actually felt heard. I felt like my stylist was listening to me and to my requests and to what I needed and wanted. And so this box, I did not decline anything in the preview. I accepted it all. Yeah, I think we could be in trouble with this box. Yikes. Let's jump in and let's see how much money I'm going to end up spending with this box. I think I might be in trouble. Okay, first up is the sweater by Cece. This is the puff sleeve bobble ribbed sweater in black. They did send me a size extra large. It is $58.90. I think that's a sale price. The fabric is 57% cotton, 28% acrylic, 15% polyester. You can machine wash this in cold water and it was made in China. Now, I like this sweater, but I don't like things too close to my neck and I'm feeling this one. I am. So let me come close so you can see. So it is close to my neck. And so if you don't like things too close to your neck, you wouldn't care for the sweater. I'm bummed. I wish this came down a little bit further. I'm bummed. Look at the sleeve. So it's got the kind of, they're calling it what the bobble style sweater. How fun is that? And then the wrist area is ribbed and then it's ribbed throughout. But I love the sleeve. It's got a drop shoulder. How fun is the little the little texture. I love that. I wish the neckline came down further because this is a really cute sweater. Hmm. Yep. But I'm not going to be able to, I can't keep it because I won't be able to stand even now. I can't wait to get it off because of how close it feels to my neck. So yeah. Yep. Bummer, huh? Well, at least I'm saving some money for some other promising things in this trunk. All right. Let me show you the back of it. So yep. Cute, cute, cute. So if you don't mind things close to your neck, you might like this sweater. But personally, I just don't care for things this close to my neck. So this one's going to have to go back. But, you know, there's more in this box. All right, let's move on to the next piece. Okay, next up, we've got another sweater. Now, this sweater is by Nordstrom. It's the Cashmere Puff Sleeve Sweater in black. They did send it to me in an extra large. It's $149, but it is 100% cashmere. And you do have to dry clean this, and I would not mess around with this one. I would totally bring this to the dry cleaners, um, and it was made in China. So I like this sweater a lot. I love it. It's so super soft, and I think that it would be in my closet for a long time. It would be a staple piece, a classic piece, something that I could wear more casually like this, something that I could dress up and, you know, wear it to work, wear it to more, you know, dressier occasions, and it'll just be around for a while. And cost per wear, I think I'd get my money's worth, but I do think, you know, I was trying to think, Nordstrom had some cashmere on sale last year, and I picked one sweater up. I can't remember if it was after Christmas or if it was during their anniversary sale. I just don't know. I'm going to have to go through my, you know what, I can't even go through my email receipts because I purchased it on, no, in store. I purchased it in store last year. So if you purchased one of their cashmere sweaters in store last year, it was a pretty significant discount. Or if you purchased it online, when was it? Was it right after Christmas? Because if it was, I'll just hold off and wait until after Christmas to purchase this or something similar to this, but I really like it. Can you tell? I want to keep it. And I just feel like because it's a neutral color, it'll be something that I could pull for season after season, year after year. I really like it. Okay, and I can tell the quality is there. Neckline is nice. It's got some ribbing around the neckline, and then it's got a wider band of ribbing here, which kind of creates like the puff sleeve look. So yeah, it's not, I mean, is it see-through? Let me turn the light off. Hang on, my ring light. Yeah, it's just the ring light. So I really do like the sweater. I think the fit is nice. The cut is nice. I like it. Can you tell? Let me show you the back of it. So yeah, if you purchased the cashmere last year from Nordstrom's, I know I did. And I just can't remember when it was in store. I want to say it was a colder time of year because I know, I think I was actually wearing a similar sweater when I went to buy another color in store and I just can't remember if it was right after Christmas or if it was well their anniversary sales in the summer so I must not have been wearing a sweater hmm when was it help me out if you know help me out when does their cashmere go on sale let me know okay I'll be right back I'm going to change and show you the next piece 
Okay, before I change, let's talk about these jeans. So these are by Edwin. This is the first time I've tried this brand on. They actually feel really nice, but there's no stretch to them. But you know what? Sometimes that's really nice. Sometimes we get jeans that stretch out throughout the day so much that they sag in the back and it's just not a flattering look. These would not do that. These are the Brie High Waist Raw Hem Ankle Straight Leg Jeans and they're $158. They're a size 34. Now the fabric is 98% cotton and 2% polyurethane. They were made in Vietnam and you can machine wash them in cold water. They have your classic five pocket style. The wash is really, really nice. They don't have any distressing except the bottom has the raw hemline. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, I'll try to zoom in, but sometimes when I zoom in, it makes it a little bit blurry. Um, so hopefully you can see the hemline of these jeans. I think the fit is really nice. Like I said, they're not going to stretch out at all. Um, I, I say at all, but they, they're not going to stretch out like your jeans that have the spandex would. So yeah, they'll hold their, they, they seem like they'd hold their shape really nicely. The length is good and these aren't even in a petite size. So yeah, I like these a lot. I don't know if I need them. But I'm thinking a lot of my jeans that I own have some stretch to them. They have some spandex. And these might be a good pair to add to my closet. Hmm. What do you think about them? I think they look nice. So let me know what you think. 158 bucks. You guys know I'm willing to pay a little bit more for a good pair of jeans. I always say this. I said it when talking about the cashmere sweater. I always think cost per wear. Sometimes I'm willing to pay a little bit more for something that is going to be in my closet for a long time and I know I'm going to reach for on a consistent basis. So, yep, I do like these a lot. All right, let me change and I'll be right back. Okay, so next up we have this cardigan by Halogen. This is the side tie linen blend cardigan in ivory and it's in a size extra large. It is $59. The fabric is 56% linen, 24% viscose, 20% polyester, and you do have to hand wash this in cold water and it was made in China. Now, I really like this cardigan. I think it's something different. It's not your typical open front cardigan. I like the shape of it. I like the style of it, but it's a true wrap style cardigan. And so when I put it on, so it came open, right? And so when you put it on, you've got, I can't open it because you're going to, I'm going to be exposed if I do, and we're not going to do that. <laughs> so it's got this a tie inside. So you just kind of pull it over to the side and tie it over here so it stays shut. And then it ties on the outside here. And my concern is that there'd be some type of wardrobe malfunction where you'd be left exposed or if this came open, partially exposed. So I don't know. I mean, I really like it. It's something different, right? You know, I have a lot of open cardigans, open front cardigans, and I like this one because it's unique. I really do. Hmm, what do you think? So you can see it kind of wraps over a little bit and then it ties here. I can't show you the tie. Let me tie it a little bit tighter. I kind of feel like it's already coming undone a little bit. Maybe if I tie it a little bit tighter, but you can kind of adjust like if you want it to be a little bit more low cut or if you want it to be a little bit more modest, you can kind of adjust. I think here is good for me. That's where I'm kind of comfortable. Um, so yeah, I like it. It has a drop shoulder. You can see that as I'm tying it right there. So yeah, I do really like this cardigan. I like the length of it too. I don't know, what do you think? Should we risk it? It is really, really cute. And I like the, the fabric of it too. It feels really nice. So, and I don't have anything like it. Hmm. All right, let me show you the back of it. So I don't know. I don't know if I wanna risk having a wardrobe malfunction or not. So, but it is tied here, which gives it a little bit of security. But I mean, if it opens here, you're still going to show, I mean, you're still going to be half exposed. And so I don't know. We'll see. All right. I'll be right back. I've got another top to show you with these black jeans. Okay. I've kind of been saying that plaid jackets and plaid jackets are not really for me, but I kind of like this one. I mean, I think it's a little bulky. Let me tell you what it is and we'll look at it together. We'll talk about it. This is by, where is it? It is the... Treasury Bond plaid shirt jacket. They're calling this brown, but the background, I guess, is brown, but I'd call it more of a cream colored in the background with red, but they're calling it brown, so we'll call it brown. And an extra large is $129. It's 100% polyester, but the lining is 100% cotton. It was made in China. You do have to dry clean this piece as well. 
what do you think about it? So I don't know. I just, there's something about it that I really like, but I do think it looks bulky, especially like here in the shoulder area. I think it makes me look a little bit more broad than I am here. Um, but what do you think about the pattern of it? Isn't it red? And the background's totally like a cream or a beige color, but they're calling it brown. They do have buttons going down and then they have a button. Whoops. The pockets here in the front are buttoned. And I think you can, I think they're functioning. I'm just struggling with them. Yeah, they are functioning. So, and then they have a button here at the wrist area, which you can undo. So I like it. I, I do, but I think it's very, very thick. So if you live in a warmer climate, this isn't going to be the jacket for you because it's very thick. It does have pockets here too. Um, but I think because it's so thick, the fabric is so thick, it kind of adds a little bit of extra bulk to me. And I don't know if it's the most flattering look, but at first glance, when I pulled it out of the box, I'm like, oh, I really like it. And when I put it on and looked in the mirror, I thought, hmm, that's kind of cute. But I wish it were a bit thinner because I think if it were a bit thinner, then it might work better for me. Although maybe a bit more open. I don't know. What do you think about it? There's something about it that I kind of like, but... I'm not going to keep it for 129 bucks because I'm not absolutely in love with it. Let me turn around and show you the back of it. And then the lining, you can see, whoops, is the same as the jacket, the same print, which is nice. Good quality, right? Okay, now what am I going to show you? Oh, I think I have one more top to put on with, oh, I have another jacket too. I have another top and I have a jacket. Let me do the jacket first and then we'll do the top and then we'll talk about the jeans. Okay, so here's the jacket. It's by Halogen. This is the double face wool coat in blue. It's in a size extra large and it is $129.90. The fabric is 53% wool, 42% polyester, 5% other, which I don't know, other fiber, and dry clean only. It was made in China. So what do you think? I think the color is gorgeous. I do think a long coat like this overwhelms my frame because I'm only 5'2". So I just think the length is not right for me. But I think if it were a bit shorter, maybe like, you know, your typical like pea coat, maybe it might be a good jacket for me. But yeah, the length I think is what's throwing me off. But the color is gorgeous. I want to come close so you can see the color. Um, and it does have buttons. And I like that the buttons are the same color as the jacket. Let's button it up and see what it looks like buttoned. Is it just one button? Oh, it, I think it is. Yeah, it's just one right here. Okay, so what do you think? It does have pockets here that are open pockets. They don't have any type of closure or anything. And then does it have anything? No, nothing on the wrist area, like no buttons or anything like that. Um, It's nice, the color's great, but I just think it's too long. Yeah, look, you can only see, yeah, you can't be, you can barely see you know, my legs, <laughs> they're just kind of peeking out at the bottom. Let me show you the back of it. So yeah, I just think it's too long. Yeah, bummer, because I do like the color of it too. And it would be a good coat to have for work. So, yep, all right, I'm gonna pass on this one and let me be, I'll be right back, I gotta change this to the next shirt. Okay, so next, this is the split neck hoodie in gray, and it's in a size extra large. It's $69, which is a little bit pricey for what this is. It's 74% rayon, 21% polyester, and 5% spandex. You do have to hand wash this. There's no way I would hand wash this. I would throw this right into the washing machine. I know I say this all the time, but I can just kind of tell, like, this isn't a special piece that you have to put You'd have to hand wash if you, you know, would rather be on the safe side, then hand wash this piece like the tag says. Made in Guatemala. So, I mean, it's okay, but it's just nothing special. It's not worth $69 to me. So, I mean, it's thin too. It's very, very soft. I don't necessarily think this is a piece that will pill easily. You can see it's got a nice split V-neck. I do like the Heather Gray look a lot. You can see a little bit of like the stitching on the shoulder area of this top. It does have a little band right here. It's not ribbed or anything, but just kind of an elastic. Is that elastic? Yeah, a little bit of elastic here. Um, but yeah, I don't think it would pill. Let me come close so you can see. Yeah, I don't think so. Not, I don't think it would. Um, it does have a little slit here on either side. Um, the length is good. If this were like a $30 top, I'd snatch this up and wear it more casually around the house and things like that. Or, you know, running out and doing errands. But yeah, it's just, it's not worth 69 bucks to me. But that's, you know, that's just me. Everyone has their own 
preferences and that's okay. That's what makes the world go round, right? All right, let me show you the back of it. So I know there's a lot of people that don't mind paying a little bit more for their casual wear, 50, 60, 70 bucks per item. And you know, I'd rather not, I'd rather spend more money on pieces that I'm going to wear out of the house on a regular basis. I'd wear something like this out of the house, but just to do errands, you know, I'd run to the grocery store, to Target or, you know, TJ Maxx or something if I'm just going to the store and coming back. But if I'm going out to dinner or if I'm going, you know, to obviously to work, it's not something that I'd wear to work. So I wouldn't really want to pay 69 bucks for this, but we're all different, right? So, you know, if you like things like this, then it might be worth it to you, but it's just not worth it to me. I'd rather spend more on pieces that I'm leaving my house with on, on a more regular basis. You know what I mean? But you know, maybe you like to spend more on your casual pieces and that's okay. All right, did I show you the back of it or am I just standing here chatting? I think I'm just like rambling. Yeah, let me show you the back. And if I already did, I'll edit this out. I totally did because I had, when I turned around, I'm like, yeah, I got on this rant when I turned around and said, yeah, some people are okay with spending more. Yep, I did. So you may see it twice or I may edit it out. Okay. So here's this top. I, this one's going back and I will be right back with, oh, I'm going to show you the jeans. Okay. So here are the black jeans. These are by Good American. I love, love, love my Good American jeans. They are worth every single penny. I pull for them a ton. And I think I might want to add these to my closet. Yes, I already have a couple pairs of black denim, but you know, don't these look a little bit dressier? I think that these, I could probably wear these on a dressier occasion. Yeah, I think they look, they look really nice, don't they? All right, let me tell you what they are. They're the Good Legs High Waist Ankle Skinny Jean in black, size 16, $129. I know, expensive, but I think cost per wear, and these would be in my closet for quite some time. So I'm okay spending a little bit more for something that's going to be in my closet for a long time. I know I purchase things from other stores that sometimes aren't as high of quality, but those are trendier pieces that I, you know, I want to try to trend here and there. And we can all do that. It's okay to do that. We can spend, you know, a little bit less on pieces that might not be around for that long in our closet, but I also like to spend money on things that I know I'm going to keep for a long time. And so this is a piece that I could see that would be in my closet for a long time. Okay, the fabric, 81% cotton, 10% recycled cotton, 6% elastrel and 3% elastane. They were made in Turkey and you can machine wash them in cold water. I love the way that they fit. I love the way that they feel. They are a high-waisted jean, so I, you know, I really like high-waisted jeans. They tend to hold you in a little bit better, at least they do for me. They do have your classic five-pocket style, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way that these fit and feel. You know, I'm going to have to go see what I have for black denim. I know I have like two or three pairs, maybe four, in my closet. I don't need another pair, but... I've been meaning to do a closet clean out for my denim. On a regular basis, I clean out my closet, clean out my sweaters, I clean out my tops. And so what I haven't done in quite a long time is clean out my pants, my denim, all my bottoms I need to take a good look at and see what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. And maybe I'll do that with you guys, trying to make it fun. Um, you know, I tend with my tops and my sweaters, if I don't wear them, for a year, I get rid of them. I, I do that on a really consistent basis. I would say once a season, I'm in my closet at the beginning of each season, determining what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. And I don't do that for my jeans. I don't know why, but I think it's because I just wanna hold on to all my jeans. I love, you guys know I have a denim addiction, but I've gotta take them out. So I think what I'll do is go in and I'll get see what I can get rid of, you know, but I wanna do that before I check out. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. So yeah, I don't know, but I do like these a lot. But so you may see a denim, bottom line is, you may see a denim cleanup if I have a chance to film it. So let me show you the back of them. Here's a side view. Here's the back. So yep, I do like these a lot. They are a little bit long, but I think if I put them on, you know, with a pair of heels or heeled booties, that would fix the problem. So let me know what you think. And I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, I'm feeling extra chatty today, and this video is probably not the best one to be chatty in. Number one, because it's a trunk, so there's already more pieces to go over. And number two, I'm on Mother Nature's time, and it's 4.12 right now, and it's the sun going down, and it's going to be dark in about 20 minutes. 
yeah, so sad, right? It's going to be dark 430. And yes, I have my ring light, but it's not the same when you're doing clothing. So when you have clothing, you're trying clothing on. For me, my lighting in my house is not the same, even with my ring light as it is during the day. Rainy days can't film because it's just, yeah, it doesn't, the lighting is just not great. So I need, well, now I just have to show you shoes and do the recap. So I've already tried on the shoes, so you'll see the side by side. So I think we're good. Hopefully the clothing came across good. But come on, Mother Nature, I've got a lot of filming to do. I have, I still have to film Adia and Co. I have a Target haul, which I wanted to get up soon, but I haven't even filmed that yet. And what else do I have? I already filmed my Stitch Fix. I already filmed my short story. I filmed, oh, I filmed my Loft haul. What else do I have to film? There was another thing I had to film. Hmm. There's another box somewhere around here. What was it? Oh, I don't know. No, that's not it. I already filmed that. I don't know. But yep. So I can't do any more filming today of clothing boxes because yeah, you won't be able to see the clothing as well. All right. Let me show you the shoes. You're not here to, to listen to me, you know, just gab away. Okay. First pair of shoes. Aren't these kind of cute? I think so. Let me tell you what they are. I put the paper over here. So I've got to grab the paper. So let's see. I've got things all over the place. When you do a trunk, and you take everything out of the plastic. You take everything out of the shoes. I've got the papers. I've got, yeah. Yep. It's a hot mess over here. <laughs> so these boots are, where are they? By Seychelles. These are the Irresistible Combat Boot in Brown, $169. So I really do like them. I think they're fun. I don't own any boots like this. And I really like them. So they lace all the way up the front and they tie here, but they do have a zipper on the side, so it can help you get them on and off. Here's the back. They've got a stacked heel look. I'd say this is what, like a two and a half, maybe, yeah, two and a half probably inch heel. So I do like them. Should I keep them? Here's the side, the outside of the booty. They were pretty comfortable too. Now these are, so they sent me a size eight, and I'm anywhere between a seven and a half and an eight. The eight worked well with these uh, for me. So yeah, I like them. I may keep them. They're different. There's something different to add to my closet. A little fun look, right? Okay, now I have another pair of shoes. So you'll see them. Did I already tell you this? You'll see them in this. Well, you'll already have seen them by now. You'll see the side-by-side -side try on for the shoes. Um, just works better that way rather than me talking, you know, while the camera's down on the floor. Um, so yeah, works better for Kayla, right? All right, so here's the other pair of shoes. Now, I like these, but I'm not going to spend, yeah, 109 bucks, 109.95. So they're nice and they're comfortable, but they're just, I'd rather spend, I don't know, I feel like I could find something that's comfortable for less money. But I did want to try them because I do like the style of them. These are the Naturalizer Kea Slip-On Sneaker in black, size 8. So, yeah. They are super comfortable. Here you go. You can see they've kind of got like that mesh look to them too. Here's the sole. Well, you can't see it really through the camera. But yep, I do really like them a lot. Hmm. Because these are something that I wouldn't reach for constantly, you know, I probably wear them on the weekends here and there and probably not all the time. 109 bucks. I think I'd rather look for something similar elsewhere. But yeah, they were fun to try, like the style of them, definitely comfortable, but not worth to me $109. But Naturalizer is a nice brand. So yeah, and these did, so for a size eight, they fit me well too. And you'll see them on the side. All right, that was my trunk. Okay, so that was my trunk. What did you think about it? For this trunk, I have to say, I think this was a box where everything looked better out of the box, you know, like off of me than they did when I tried them on. I think some of the styles were just too overwhelming for my figure. Like that blue jacket, for example, I thought it was gorgeous, but I think it was just too long for me. Uh, but I love the style of it. So I loved everything in the preview. I loved everything when I pulled it out of the box. And then when I put it out, I'm like, ooh, that doesn't work for me. So there are a couple of things that I'm considering. Now, the Good American Jeans, I still have them on. Yep, and I love them. I don't want to take them off. So I think I might end up keeping the black with American jeans. And what else was I? Oh, the black cashmere sweater. Now for the life of me, I can't remember when 
Nordstrom's puts their cashmere sweaters on sale. They may do it a couple times a year, but I know for a fact I went in their store last year and I wish I had purchased it online so I could go through, you know, my email receipts, but I can't remember when I purchased it. So let me know if you know when their cashmere sweaters go on sale. So I like it, but I don't think I want to pay 150 bucks for it right now before Christmas. You know, we're all gearing up for Christmas, buying gifts. So I may hold off on that and the boots. So I really like these boots too, but 169 bucks. I decided I'm going to send them back. I was going to keep them, but I'm going to send them back because they're not something I'd reach for on a consistent basis. Yes, they're good quality. Yes, I would keep them in my closet for a long time. Well, probably, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't like the style next year, but I just think that for 169 bucks for something I'd probably wear once or twice a month because I'm not wearing them during the week to work. And so, yeah, I don't know if I want to pay 169 for something that... Hmm, yeah, no, but I don't think I pointed it out. They kind of have this like wet toe look here. What do you think? So yeah, I like them, but I'm going to find, you know what? I'm going to check out the rack. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out Nordstrom rack. Okay. Now the black shoes, I already told you I'm going to send them back too. So I may just keep the black jeans and maybe I'll splurge on the cashmere sweater. Maybe, but that's two items that are over a hundred bucks. So I'm not sure. So let me know what you think. Did you have a favorite piece? Nothing else. Well, the ivory sweater I really liked, but I'm just worried about having a wardrobe malfunction. I think it's just like waiting to happen with that sweater. So for that reason, I'm going to send it back, but it was unique and I appreciate that they sent it to me. Shacket was nice, but just kind of felt a little bit big and bulky on. And what am I missing? Oh, that first black sweater was adorable. I loved, loved, loved that first black sweater, but I didn't care for how it felt so close to my neck. So that one has to go back to bummer. Okay. So let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. Have a wonderful day.